Welcome back to week six. We're halfway through the season nearly in high school football. And uh, the old high rider game's here. It's not the last yeah. one this week. Um, but first we'll, we'll look at last week getting ready for the old high rider. Uh, rider got some momentum going in where old high kind of stumbled and uh, stubbed their toe a little bit against Brewer. What did you think of Ryder at Saginaw? Uh, it was a pretty good, honestly, it's 35-21. It's not a really good indication of what that score could have been. Ryder could have won a much easier, but when you have four personal foul penalties that lead directly to scores, that's a killer, and, and that's something that Ryder's obviously got to clean up as they move forward. But it was a very good performance, very good offensive performance. It's the best Desmond Jackson has looked at quarterback this year. It's the best Cortez Carter has looked at running back this year. And that offensive line, I think they've got their offensive line has just been fantastic this season. Just every time I've seen them, it's performed at a high level. So, and I found out Brewer had a really good running back, really good running game, and the Coyotes found that out, you know, time after time after time. He gave yeah. up 273 yards rushing to uh, the running back and, th you know, nearly 340 overall. Brewer, Ola could have came back and won the game if they caught just a few more breaks. Um, but Brewer was the better team most of the night. So, And then you were out at uh, Hershey and Iowa Park, yeah. and there was some drama out there. It was a good game. It uh, was one Long kick return yeah. and big plays. The Iowa Park kicked the Cedric battle one time that night, and it happened to be the first time. It's kind of like kicking the deep ball. Don't kick the deep ball and don't kick the Cedric battle. So, no, uh, I thought Iowa Park got up ahead of them. Hershey did good to you know, get back in the game, tie it up a couple times, took the lead early third quarter. IP just kind of warmed down. Their, their offense looks pretty good with Weston Swinson at quarterback. So uh, he throws it pretty well. He runs it pretty well. And they're kind of back to what they were doing before, uh, you know, with uh, Coach Ellis when he was there. So, so And Hershey's still trying to find the defensive formula. And uh, Yeah, Deshaun Harley looks real good. He's back. Elijah Hull played a little bit. Uh, they're, they're getting – I think they're going to get better on defense as soon as those guys get 100% healthy. But they still they, – they need to take another step if they're going to make the playoffs. So any other big surprises last week before we move on to – Graham losing isn't a big surprise. They had committed six turnovers and still almost beat a top-10 team. So uh, I think, you know, if Graham plays a, a, a better game, you know, not turning it over. They had a bad uh, stretch where they gave up two touchdowns right before half because of a fumbled kickoff. But uh, – Big Screen's a good team. You can't do that against good teams. But no, that, and they played two good ones in a row. Yeah, but, three good ones with they, Wiley. But they're going to play good teams when they get in the playoffs. Yeah. So they're going to have to figure out how to take care of the ball. Yeah, Sometimes I, you may have to punt it. Yeah. Because their defense, you know, if you punt and give them 70 yards to protect, I think they're going to be pretty good. Yeah, they're still a really good team, I think, just because they lost last that region. That region of Class 4A is just nasty. Yep. Yeah, those playoff games gonna are going to be fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen Stephenville's had, you know, competitive games, and that – that's going to be that's yeah, going to be interesting. When we come back, we're going to take a little more in-depth look at Ryder and Old High. What we've got coming up Friday night.